Let him who fails to learn and mark 3,000 years still stay, void of experience in the dark and live from day to day. Welcome to my book review channel Literature for Life a channel that is geared towards social responsibility and personal growth. Please do give me a thumbs up and share my videos if you like my content. Today I would like to introduce you to one of Germany's greatest mind, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, who was born in 1749 and who is a man who has enriched world literature by many great works. Probably the most well known is this one called Faust. But today I will not talk about Faust, but I will talk about a lesser known work called The West Eastern Divan. And I will talk about this book because I think it is Goethe's most beautiful, most inspiring and for our times most relevant book or collection of poetry. When Goethe was around 60 years old, he was introduced to the 14th century Persian poet called Hafez. Hafez, which was a Muslim Persian poet, wrote poetry about love, spiritual love, about wine, and he had poetry that contained so much wisdom and so much knowledge that he has become a household name in Iran and is now a worldwide known poet. And when Goethe read his poetry, he immediately fell in love with Hafez. So much so that he, in fact, was inspired to write his own collection of poems, which is today known as the West Eastern Divan. The West, this book is so amazing because it is a manifestation and a beautiful illustration of the meeting of great poetical minds. Hafez, who lived in the 14th century, and Goethe, who lived in the 18th, 19th century. Two poets who are separated by centuries and who live in very different geographies were able to meet in the name of love and poetry. And their meeting is, is such an inspiration for every lover of poetry and literature and for anybody who aspires to have a universal outlook and to be familiar with those we call the others. Foul, I mean, this book, The West Eastern Divan, <coughs> contains a lot of Islamic mythology and personalities from Islamic history. And Goethe really made such great research. I mean, after reading Hafiz's poetry, he fell in love with Islam and he really read and acquired knowledge. So much so that when you read his poetry, it's like almost that it's Hafiz who's writing. It's Hafiz's voice that is guiding Goethe's pen. And it's a, such a beautiful experience to to, 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 to read this book. The book is originally written in German and it is most beautiful in the German language. And the English language doesn't really justify, doesn't really give you the, the, the beauty and depth of the German uh, original script or, or poems. But I would still recommend that you read it because love poetry, spiritual poetry, is so beautiful and so deep and is often written in a, such a universal language that no, no matter what language you uh, uh, translate it to, it will contain some of the love and the wisdom that it has within it. And it will be able to be conveyed no matter what the language is. So now I will be reading some of the quotes that I find interesting and uh, I will be back in a few minutes. Know yourself in that instant, know the other, and see therefore, Orient and Occident cannot be parted forevermore. Ah, let the whole world slide and sink, half as with thee alone the strife of song I seek. Twin brothers we, our pain, our pleasure come and be, to love like thee, like thee to drink, shall be my pride, shall be my life. Let him who fails to learn and mark three thousand years still stay, void of experience in the dark and live 
from day to day. Never be led into the dance of controversy without end. The wise will fall in ignorance when with the ignorant they contend. The folly every man in turn would still his own peculiar notions magnify. If Islam means submission to God's will, may we all live in Islam and all die. Simply amazing. My favorite quote is where he says, let him who fails to learn and mark 3000 years stay still, void of experience in the dark and live from day to day. What I love about this quote is that Goethe is trying to tell us that we need a memory of 3000 years. And how does a human being who only lives around 100 years acquire a 3000 year memory? Well, basically we need to read. We need to be acquainted with history so that we know our past. And it is incumbent upon us to know history and the past because without knowing the past and history, we have no idea of understanding the changes and the circumstances we live in today. So it is simply incumbent upon anybody to engage history and to gain historical knowledge. The other one that I particularly like is where he says, do not let, be led into the dance of controversy without end. The wise will fall into ignorance when with the ignorant they contend. And this I love so much because it reminds me so much of my father. He has always told me, Ahmed, choose your battles and do not argue with people who have no knowledge because you will always be the loser. And this is, I think, <laughs> something it's very wise and I have really adhered to it. And I have found out actually it really works. I mean, do not discuss with people who have no knowledge about the issue you are discussing because you will spare yourself a lot of headache and a lot of uh, uh, not well used energy. So Goethe, I mean, inspired by Hafez, write, writes in such a beautiful way with so much wisdom. I mean, it's, it's really incredible. And I really love how he calls Hafiz his twin brother in one of the quotes and how he really endorses the Islamic religion in the fourth quote. And this is so important today, especially here in Europe and the United States, where we are living an increased Islamophobia, where Muslims are being portrayed as rapists, as terrorists, as people who are bad, who are not good for the societies that live in, that they are not people who are productive and who are adding value to the society that they live in. I mean, it's such a shame and we are so much in need of this message. So Goethe is very profound and is very inspiring for anybody who loves literature, who, for anybody who wants to be familiar with Muslims or anybody that we consider as being other than we are. So this is love poetry that unifies this book, West Eastern Divine, is really worth reading and is so relevant for the time we live in. I really do hope that I have inspired you to read this great work and hopefully we will be meeting with poetry and love and all that is great in us as human beings. I have really not much to say other than peace and take care of yourself.